Hello everybody, Jared Gucci here and happy Wednesday to you. Okay, our What's Up Wednesday question for this week is, comes to us from Vanessa Evans. And it's a very relevant question for all the stuff that's happening in Facebook right now. But her question is, how do we add the new like button to our website? Okay, now I'm gonna actually go in and do some, some screen capture so you, I can walk you through the steps because I think this question is better answered with actually showing you the steps to do it on the computer. But before I do that, I just really want to tell you how powerful these new like buttons are. I installed them on my website on Friday and I looked at my, my page insights and I looked at my Google Analytics. I've had more website traffic, I've had more fans, I've had more interactions on my fan page. It's just, it's just all been increased since I did it. And again, it's all about viral sharing, okay? These new like buttons get people in your sphere to actually promote and share your content. Okay, so let's actually go in and show you how you can get the code to take and put on your website so you can add a like button to whatever you want on your site. Let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be logged into Facebook first, and then you're going to go to an address called developers.facebook.com forward slash plugins and this will take you to a page that has a list of all the new social plugins that Facebook offers for you to put on your website today we're talking about the like button but uh, you, you can come back here and, and look into some of the other plugins that are available and if you have questions on how they work or how to get them into your site I'd be more than happy to to help you out with that but so today we're talking about the like button it's actually the first one on the on the the choice of plugins here and probably because it's the best but let's go in and check it out so when we click on like button it brings us to a page kind of explains there's two different ways that you can actually embed this into your website uh, you can do it one way using an iframe which is a really simple easy and fast way and then there's a fuller featured button version that uses something called JavaScript SDK and uh, there are some extra steps involved in in using the javascript version of the button but again uh I, I can totally help you out with that it's it's really simple you don't got to be you know a super web designer you just uh have to know what to do and and make sure you do it right okay but we scroll down here and uh basically it asks you for the url that you wish to uh incorporate into your like button so this is going to be the url that when somebody likes that piece of content will be shared on Facebook so then when somebody clicks on that uh, you know that like link in the Facebook newsfeed it will take them to this URL if you leave it blank it will default to the URL of the page the like button is on so if you have several different like buttons on a page you might want to distinguish which button or which URL is to attached to that button, okay? And then there's some layout choices, uh, the, the standards over here, and it gives you a preview, and then you could do just the button count. So the button count is real good, just maybe for like a home page or a, a small area where you don't want the, you know, all the text of, you know, people like this, be the first of your friends. So it, it's just, it's your preference. And then you can actually do show faces or, or not show faces and what it will do is it will populate the faces of your friends underneath this button that have already liked it then you get some with options and um, you can change the verbiage on the button from like to recommend so I, I'm sticking with like right now I'm on the like bandwagon I think the terminology is good it's easy so I'm, I'm sticking with like but you can choose recommend recommend might actually be really good for like a testimonial page or a services page but uh, I'm sticking with like right now and then you can actually you have some some font choices uh, if you leave this blank I think it just defaults to Arial and uh, color scheme you can actually go dark you want to go dark I'm sticking with light because that's the Facebook branding color and so I'll, I'll keep that and then all you got to do is once you set up your options you just click on get code and uh, here is the code up here the iframe code that you need to actually copy and paste into your web page wherever you want that like button to appear and it's it's that simple now below you'll see the X XFBML code 
which you can also copy and paste and put it where you would like that button to appear. And uh, in order for this to work, again, you need to have the JavaScript SDK installed into your website. And I can help you out with that. There are some advantages to using the XFBML button versus the iframe. And for those of you that don't know, iframes in many browsers do not function properly. And uh, th there's, there's just problems with iframes sometimes. Um, they're, they're still very, very useful and very powerful. So if you just want a quick, easy embed, use the iframe version of the button. But if you want to get a little bit more advanced and, uh, you know, I can, I can share with you at a later date uh, how that works, um, use the JavaScript version. So I hope this was helpful and I encourage everybody to please, please, please get out there, get those buttons on your web page, get as many as you can in, a, in as many different places and sit back and watch how it's going to increase your web presence. Thank you for watching.